it's Emma Jo here from Lavinia Stamps and this week it's part six of Lavinia Tours but it's the second part of that one so if you're looking for it it's hay fever part two hang on if you're looking for it you found it because you're here hmm sometimes my brain doesn't work anyway so this is what we're going to complete today I will show you this time look at can you see me I might have to stand a little so this is what we've got. We've got a meadow full of flowers. There's grey board cogs. There's the meeses. My sorry, they've got hay fever. They're, they're a chewing. They're chewing. And then we've got, look, all the story happens underneath. It's fab fun. Fab fun. And it's full of bees and pollen and ugh, summer. It's just full of that feeling of summer. summer. It's really difficult to try and show you how this works because it's quite heavy. But anyway, I love this. I do. <laughs> I love this. I love its colour. I love the vibrancy of it. And I love the feeling of movement as these little things are floating up in the air, covered in pollen and <laughs> with some very interested bees. Anyway, I'll put that away for a bit. So for this we're going to be looking at using grey board, we're going to be, we're going to have colour with the dinkles, we're going to be using a fair bit of stickles, um, what else Emma Jo, Posca pens, don't forget your Posca pens, but enough chat from me, come with me, let me show you how it's done. So here we go, <clears throat> let's get colouring that grey board. So I'm using white gouache and I'm just, as you can see, I've put some on a piece of paper and I'm just using my ring finger, <laughs> it looks like, to just dab it on and then let it dry. You can use gesso, you can use whatever you want, but this is just another alternative. And I'm helping it to dry with a little bit of help from my heat tool. And then what am I going to do? Well, with my size 9 stencil brush and some Elements Ink Sundance, I'm adding some colour. And because they're flowers, or they're going to be flowers, I've added them round the centre. Now I'm adding some confetti to the edges, but I will change my colours. Confetti is going to be for some of them. And because they're cogs, you can just rotate them round your finger. It's rather interesting. Um, blue Atoll. Elements Ink Blue Atoll. Now look at that. You can see that colour going straight on, can't you? It's stunning. Again, just running my brush on the edges of the cogs. Now this one is Elements Ink Della Blue, just for a little bit of interest. Slightly different blue to the Atoll blue at all and then we're going to switch it up a little bit with an other colour an other or another now you'll have to wait and see but the same technique has been used each time just running my brush around the edges so that it catches almost like its petals so I'm doing a second coat with the Sundance just on the edges and now it's the turn for Elements Ink Paprika. Even popping in those ones, because they don't have a centre, popping them, the brush in the centre and rotating it. It's rather fun. So now I'm adding the cogs just by using some bibbidi bobbly glue. Try and make sure that you don't stick them right over the join because that will make reading the text really difficult if it's stuck down so it's either got to be on the top part the top section that you lift or underneath so nearer to the ground if you like so just fill in some gaps we don't want it to be overrun with cogs but it's rather nice to have something alternative 
that doesn't necessarily detract from the moon pods because the moon pods really it's their meadow you know and if you decide that you haven't got enough cogs or you want to put more down from the different colors or whatever i went for teal at the end of this i remember just to add an extra bit of zing so perhaps when you're doing your cogs if you want that extra zing teal is a cracking color as well you know so there we go i'm just adding extra sundance in the center once i've put those cogs in situ and it's just elements ink sundance but rather fabulous what am i doing here i'm stamping something why ah it's the moon pod stamp and i've decided to stamp so we remember we were talking about layering so we have the first layer of the ripped moon pods that went on before the lock to paper then we had the ones that went on after the lock to paper so again that looked like they were closer again and now we're just adding a few little bits down the bottom straight on so again on top of everything and they are just just adding a little bit of texture interest love it Fab. so get your posca pen and now we're going to check that all our flowers are actually in the ground so elongate their stalks i know what a cracking word make their stalks longer don't always have to use the black I mean I've gone with the black because we stamped in Versifying Claire Nocturne originally but I am going to branch out and go for a green sparkly Posca pen I know I'm a rebel but just adds that other little element it doesn't make it look quite so dark I'm saying that about a piece that is bright yellow. <laughs> yeah, it's not really ever going to look dark, is it? So we're sort of piecing our meadow together, giving it some stems. Giving it, giving some flowers some stems. And if you want some of your flowers floating in midair, that's absolutely fine. At the end of the day, you're the artist, you decide. There we go. Starts to make sense to my little brain now. So I've gone back in with my sparkly yellow Posca just to do the centers of our cog flowers. It's that subtle bit of bling. And that's an aqua green Posca pen. Just adding little hints of it. In fact, I'm coloring in the nobules. I don't actually, or maybe they're nodules <laughs> on the moon pods, you know, those spots, if you like. I'm colouring them in with my aqua green Posca. And then I'm going to use my Posca pens as watercolour. So for this, I'm going to need my watercolour brush from set one. I'm using some apple green Posca that I've popped on my craft mat and added some water to, just a tiny dribble of water, but it helps it move easier. And I'm just adding them to the base of all my moon pods.
So the next colour that's gone on is Posca pen and it's yellow. So I've done the same thing, added some water to it, popped it in above the green. Yeah, I'm not being too fussy about it because the lines are there. The lines tell you what the, what the um, flower should look like. And now I'm adding some red. Now you can see that this looks more fierce and bold. Now again, that's a red Posca pen that's just been had some water added to it. And if you just pop a dot into where the yellow has gone, and then using a little paper towel, just go and blot it. So you you get your um, three colours, your green, your like traffic lights really, isn't it? Some subtle, some not so. So here we have the mice, rip them to the size you want them to be, and then work out where you'd like them to fly. And it is like a party in the sky, look at that. Just use your bippity boppity glue to pop them into place. Now I've got five mice this time. And I'm just giving them some lines, if you like, motion lines and um, using some water with some black Posca pen. I'm just going underneath some of my cogs and you might think, oh gosh, that looks a little bit dark. But in the end, it just adds depth. And if you think it is too dark, you can add some water and take it off with your paper towel. We just needed some depth, I felt. You don't always have to use black, you know. Sometimes you can just use... I remember painting scenery once, and a lady said to me, sometimes you just need the dirty water because it's the perfect colour. So there you go. If you've got dirty water from the colours you've been using, it might be your perfect shading. So that was Stickles Christmas Red. And I'm just adding some to the top of the moon pods, like pollen, if you like. And this is the gold adding those to the centre of my cog flowers and you can see that there's subtle bling everywhere. It's a riot of pollen, I tell you. Oh, now we're going to make more pollen. So, back to those cogs that we did. And I'm just using a yellow Posca pen to colour in the circles. You know those bits that you possibly looked at the cogs and thought, oh, They've done a circles as well. What am I going to use those for? Well, today I show you. So I'm colouring all of them yellow and then I'm going to pop them. Oh, no, we're doing bees and butterflies first. So with our mini flutter stamp, not, not having many of them because it's a bit busy. Butterfly, butterfly, and then... mini mini flutterby stamp one and two right what have we got going on here mrs Ooh, adding some bippity boppity glue and you remember those things that we've just been coloring those little circles i'm just adding some little circles to my mice because they have now become so happy up among the flowers that they are covered in pollen. So I'm using some of those circles for the centre of my flowers. You know the ones that didn't have a centre and they were just like a tyre? Well I'm filling them with some of my yellow circles that I've just done. Try and alternate which size you've got so you've got small and then a little bit larger. It just makes it more interesting. So the idea is we have very Interested bees. So pop your bees wherever you can find a gap near one of your mice that has pollen. And we're lifting that top section and adding bees underneath it. Because if you like, this is a hive of activity. We're adding some honeycomb. So this is the stencil honeycomb. And I'm just using some Elements Ink Russet Orange 
with a stencil brush, a size 9 stencil brush. And you know those white bits that you thought, oh, for goodness sake, what, what, why is she leaving it white? Well, this is why. So that I could add some texture with this stencil. Try and take it to the edges. And we're still carrying on that feeling of warmth. So I'm adding russet orange just along the bottom and around the edges of the piece. So Posca pollen. This is the sparkly orange Posca and I'm just adding dots to the centre of those yellow little grey board pieces, those circular yellow grey board pieces that we've just added. Add some dots here, there and everywhere but the orange dots look great on the mice that have the pollen circles. If you add those into those yellow circles, it sort of makes it make more sense. Honest gov. Okay, adding yellow to your bees and don't forget to give them little white bottoms. Now I've used the aqua green Posca for my butterflies because I can't do a piece without having some aqua green. I just think it works with everything. There we go, little white bottoms, hurrah. But what's happening here now? Ah. I'm just touching up some of the moon pods with my aqua green Posca making sure that their nodules or their spots are definitely green and adding some dots to any flowers that might welcome it. So now we're going to add the story and I bet you're wondering what's happened. Well, I'm just going to do it first in pencil. So that's what I'm showing you here, me physically doing it first in pencil. It's very exciting. Here we go with a black Posca pen and some very simple printed writing with dots on the end. If you remember, the, the page before said that they were at this coronation and they were so happy that they danced. So I've start, carried on from that and gone, they danced and gone. I've carried on from that. So the next page reads, they danced and flew and danced right into a blooming meadow full of flowers. Some of the mice got covered in pollen. The busy bees thought they were very interesting. And that's where our story has taken us this time. So using a little bit of Elements Ink Truffle, I'm just darkening those edges, not going too far in. And I've made a couple of our mice sneeze by saying, Achoo! At the top, using a little bit of Aqua Green Posca Pen just to keep that balance, you know? Make sure that we've got enough in there to make it interesting. Now with icicles, uh, Stickles Icicle, I'm adding some of that glitter to the wings of the birds and the mice. And you've done it! You've done it! Well done! Well done indeed! Wow! Well, I'm really hoping that you enjoyed that as much as I did. Yes, it does feel like a blast of yellow. But I just wanted you to feel overwhelmed with this feeling of summer and pollen and, and hay fever, <laughs> which quite a few of us are suffering with at the moment because, wow, the pollen is high here. Anyway, thank you so much for coming along. If you would like to leave a comment on the post below, please do, and I will do my best to get back in touch with you. But you know what? In the meantime, please, you take care. Happy crafting. <laughs>